The OnePlus 6 is the latest flagship to draw from the company OnePlus. Here on Jerry Rig Everything, we semi-scientifically review cell phones with razor blades. So bump up that volume a few notches and hit the subscribe button. Let's get started. This is the mirror black version of the OnePlus 6, super reflective with a super deep black. There's also a midnight black version out there where OnePlus uses corrosion on the back glass for a slightly more matte aesthetic. Might be fun to take a look at that in the future, if OnePlus ever lets me touch a phone again after this. The AMOLED screen comes with a pre-installed screen protector, which is a super good way to protect your phone right out of the box. It's nice they don't make you go buy extra accessories. The 6 also comes with a soft protective case in the red box, right above that dash charger and charging cable. The scratch test is first, you know how it works. Mohs scale 1 through 10, a level 3 being plastic, and a level 10 being diamonds. OnePlus said they used Gorilla Glass 5 on both the front and back of this phone, which seems to be the premium standard these days. And the results of the scratch test agree, scratches appear at a level 6, and a deeper groove at a level 7. Everything's pretty normal so far. OnePlus started shrinking bezels with last year's OnePlus 5T, and that remains the same with this OnePlus 6. A slightly larger screen with no home button at the bottom, but we do have a notch this time in the display for the front facing 16 megapixel camera. This camera comes with electronic image stabilization and face unlock. Personally, I don't have strong feelings one way or the other about the notch. It is what it is. But this speaker grill is pretty cute. It's almost as small as the Huawei P20 Pro I reviewed earlier. Either way, the grill is very solidly attached to the phone and won't be falling off on its own even with intentional aggressive persuasion. The sides of the OnePlus 6 are just as pitch black as the rest of the phone, and made from metal. The power button, and even the textured mute switch, which I'm still a huge fan of, is metal. This is a button I would use every single day. It's a pretty useful feature to have on a smartphone. The top of the phone is made from metal. No holes up here, except for the noise canceling microphone. And the far side of the phone is still painted metal, along with the metal volume rocker. Bottom of the phone has a USB-C slot, and more importantly, a headphone jack. While not something I use every day, the convenience of having one far outweighs the aesthetics of not. And for me, a cell phone is all about making life more convenient. So thumbs up to OnePlus for keeping that headphone jack. Another super important point of good design is the soft plastic cushion layer between the glass and the metal frame of the phone. Most people will never realize this is here, but it helps shield the brittle glass from the hard metal if the phone is ever dropped. The glass is less likely to crack on impact with this subtle protective ring in place. A case is still very important, don't get me wrong, but every bit of protection helps. For the back of the phone, all the lettering is under the surface of the glass and protected from ever scratching off. Well, at least until I open it up anyway. There is no wireless charging though. OnePlus has retained their invincible scratch-proof fingerprint scanner, which is nice. My razor blade does no damage to the surface of that scanner. The rear cameras are interesting. The main camera is a 16 megapixel sensor, and this year we have both optical and electronic image stabilization. The 20 megapixel secondary camera is just there to support the main sensor. Not sure all the details on that support system yet, but since this OnePlus can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second, whatever support it's giving is working and it's all protected with scratch-resistant glass. The 6.2-inch AMOLED display, to me, is one of the best features of this phone. AMOLED blacks make the bezel and notch pretty much disappear. You don't get as vibrant of colors on a normal LCD display. Still made it about 20 seconds, though, before the pixels completely died, so that's cool. It's hard to show off how impressively reflective this black mirror is, but you can get an idea by looking at my camera through the back panel. It looks good. Even though Art Class with Jerry gets canceled with glass-backed phones, I think the OnePlus 6 will make a great clear phone candidate. It'll be fun to show off that red battery that OnePlus probably forgot about again. Previous OnePlus phones were milled from solid blocks of aluminum, making them pretty durable. It's time to see if this glass redesign holds up to a structural bend test. The first bend made me pretty nervous. There was quite a bit more flex than I anticipated, but it still managed to hold up against an impressive amount of force, with zero cracks or kinks. The metal frame is still intact, and the glass remains unshattered. I believe this is, in part, due to the plastic lining between the glass and the metal frame. But either way, this new OnePlus flagship passes my durability test and is definite daily driver material. What do you think? Do you like the OnePlus 6? And what features would your ideal smartphone include? Let me know down in the comments, and then come hang out with me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.